In the circuit represented in the diagram, what is the reading of the voltmeter V? Well, first thing, let's label some of these. Let's call this R1 and this R2 and make our verb table V, I, R, P. We have resistor 1, resistor 2, and total. All right, and we'll start filling in what we know. We have a 60 volt source, so there's our total. We know that R1 is 20 ohms. We know that R2 is 10 ohms. So once we've done that, we know that the total resistance in our circuit is the sum of the individual resistances because it's a series circuit, 30 ohms. I equals V over R, this must be two amps. That means that anywhere in our circuit, because it's a series circuit, we have the same current, two amps, two amps. We can find our voltage using Ohm's law, I times R, so that's 40, the potential drop across R1. This must be 20, we drop 20 volts across R2, and those add up to the total, that makes sense. And for the powers, pick your choice of equations, V times I, 80, 40, and 120. And of course, our two individual powers expended add up to the total power expended. So what was the question it asked? What's the reading of voltmeter V? Well, if we look up here at V, V is measuring the potential difference across R1. So I come down to my verb table and I find that the potential difference across R1 is 40 volts. All right, so hopefully that gets you some good footing, a start on series circuits. And I know this is a calculus-based physics course, and by all means, these are simple problems that we're starting with. We're just laying the groundwork for as we get to more complex circuits and more complex topics, but we gotta have these basics down first. And we'll start getting to those in the next lesson and further on as well. So thank you for your patience. Thank you for watching educator.com. We'll see you again real soon. Make it a great day.